Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Danae and Carlos. And today we're doing something a little bit interesting. We're gonna have a car Q and A. Carcuna. <laughs> Carcuna. Carcuna. That's it. There you go. Carcuna. <laughs> so first, we're back at school in what? Dallas, what? Texas. So more my story videos will be coming soon. Yeah, so stay, stay tuned, tuned subscribe, and stay laugh. tuned for a secret series <laughs> that will be coming out for your faces. All right, <laughs> so let's get into this Q&A. <laughs> okay. When you disagree on something, what do you do to resolve it? So first, we have not been the best, mm -mm. honestly, at disagreeing. Um, we have messed up and we have hurt each other a lot, honestly. Both of us have. But I think we have learned a lot and we've grown yeah, a lot. Definitely. <laughs> and it like so it, it depends on like what we're disagreeing about, but I think the main thing is that we're always truly listening to each other, seeking to understand. Um like when we disagree, just wanting to hear the other person, wanting to understand where they're coming from, their point of view. Yeah. Not, and not being prideful, not being arrogant, not coming to it thinking that like, I'm right, you're wrong, but just being open to being wrong, really wanting to understand and realizing that it's good and okay to disagree sometimes. It's grown us a lot. It's opened our eyes to things. It's you know it's changed our our mindset on a bunch of different topics both for me and Danae mm -hmm. um but I think the important thing is that we'll never like let ourselves go into another topic or move to something else without resolving the argument or the discussion that we're having like I don't feel that's okay I don't think that's okay and I honestly don't think anybody should leave anything unresolved yeah. i think if regardless of who you are if you have a, a discussion or an argument with your significant other i think you should try to resolve it as best as possible as mm -hmm. soon as possible and try to remember that there's going to be a lot of arguments that aren't worth the discussion that aren't worth the tears over so just apologize Try to see where you hurt that person and try to patch things up and move on. Yeah, I mean, if, if we've ever like hurt each other in a disagreement, that's what we do. Yeah. Realize we're wrong, apologize, make it right, forgive, you know? Um, but I think before that, to, we've realized to not hurt each other is making sure we're not getting angry. We're not like yelling, we're not getting upset that the other person doesn't agree yeah um and also like i said being humble being okay being wrong and i know like there's been multiple times when either one of us has realized we're wrong or we realize we're both right or we're wrong on some things right on some things and we can just like see the truth and the true right way of like seeing things or looking at it or whatever yeah. um and then sometimes we agree to disagree and that's okay sometimes <laughs> <laughs> um and then also, <laughs> if it's something like a different wants or desires on something, like for example, our future house or our future kids, like certain things on that or whatever. <laughs> um, I think also, again, listening to each other and putting each other above yourself and not just being like, I want what I want, you know, and that's it, like, but truly being like, I want you to be happy. And Carlos is like, I want, you know, he wants me to be happy. And if we can put each other above ourselves, yeah. we can come to a compromise. Or I give Carlos some things, he gives me some things, you know? Listen, <laughs> listen, people. I want two things in our entire house. It's two things. Well, three <laughs> things. Three things. And then the rest of the house is Danae. See, that's what we've agreed on. You know? In all seriousness, we've already talked about all of this. And yeah. with everything in our house, it's going to be compromise. Both of our styles coming together. Yeah. Both of us getting what we want. You know? Yeah. So. 
but that's just one example. How do you guys see yourselves in five years? So, in five years, I will be married to the be most beautiful girl, the most gorgeous girl on the face of the planet. You know, that's, that's being Danae, right? Um, I see ourselves much larger here on this platform. I see ourselves doing what God has called us to do. I see ourselves moving to California. And I see ourselves constructing our new home, hopefully. You can hope. Yeah, see, I see ourselves doing like revival, like traveling around first. Mm-hmm. But. But we can do that while we build our house. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, we just tell people, hey, we want this, we want that. And no, then. I want to be there and make sure everything is done right. No, okay. <laughs> well, be spreading revival. Yeah. So, we don't know exactly, but we'll definitely be doing um, something <laughs> we'll be breathing hopefully we'll hopefully be in california and definitely hopefully traveling around america and bringing revival of every dream you know yeah so, and yes bigger on here <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. when you met was it love at first sight no <laughs> not for me <laughs> Uh, wait, what do you mean? In the instance, <laughs> when I saw you, I like, what I think I saw you? Yeah. No, but yes, in a way. Love at second sight. <laughs> I don't know. See, because I knew I wanted to marry a girl like Danae, but I didn't think I had a chance with her. So I wouldn't necessarily say it was love at first sight. Um... Yeah, no, Danae thought I was scrawny and skinny oh when she saw me. I thought he was cute, but I, I wasn't like, he's the one. When I first saw you, I wanted to. Yeah. Because I needed to get to know a guy. I was never going to be like, he's the one. No, I thought I thought she was amazing. And I thought she was gorgeous, <laughs> but it, it wasn't love at first sight for me either. All right. When you travel together, how do you stay pure before God? Uh, On our road trips and everything. So first... We stay in two different hotel rooms. We don't sleep in the same room. Nope. <laughs> and, um, I mean, I like to make sure we don't, like, I don't know. We, we do, like, we are together in the same room until we go to bed. Until a certain but time. That, and then, I mean, if we ever start to feel tempted in any way. Yeah, both me tell each other and leave and yeah both me and Danae have really strong convictions we a hundred percent do not want to do anything that we're not supposed to before marriage and we both get really convicted about it and we both get really really upset if we accidentally do something or if a thought comes into our mind and we don't want that thought to be there so we keep ourselves pure because of the conviction that God has placed in, in us mm -hmm. And we do everything we can to respect each other, honor each other, and really never touch anywhere too close yeah. or Make even- sure we're not getting too close to where yeah. we're gonna accidentally do something. <laughs> yeah, but the main thing is not sleeping in the same room. Yep. These are two passions, but I'm gonna combine them. Is it hard for you to be away from each other and how do you handle it when, like I'm in California and you're in New York? So like when we're like, how do we handle long distance basically when it's very hard yeah but <laughs> it um honestly people always told me like it's gonna make your relationship so much stronger and i was like no i don't want it like it sucks and it does but it really did grow our relationship like rapid speed yeah um it grows your trust in the person yeah because when you're away from somebody for like so long and there's no way for you to go check in on the person. The one thing that keeps you two really together and growing in love is trust. Mm -hmm. And trust will grow tremendously yeah. in there. And when you're in a long distance relationship, you know, all you can do is talk. Yeah. <laughs> and so me and Danae, we talked every day yeah. for like yeah. hours. 
so that's how we handle it is making sure we like put aside time to talk and uh, time to over, spend with god yeah and time to spend to god with god <laughs> Time to spend with God with each other. <laughs> Amen. Um, yeah, so I mean, over the summer, um, when we were long distance for a long time, we always said like like a certain time that we were gonna talk to each other. So we knew that we had like at least an hour every night that we were gonna talk to each other. And obviously it's gonna be different for everyone, but I think it's really important to set aside a time you're gonna talk you know every single day and even if it's just for a little bit but we want to talk a long time like um and so that's how we handle that and then being very vulnerable and honest with each other and just talking about everything and like you said it grew our relationship so fast because all we did was talk <laughs> yeah when did you first notice each other Tuesday night encounter. She was <laughs> dancing, twirling around, so majestic, beautiful. She, to me, was in a car with my friend who picked me up because I was angry and we went to Sonic and she called me scrawny and skinny. There you go, there you have it, that's the answer. <laughs> I first saw him in our common area, like, hangout place we have. And that's when I remember introducing myself. Mm. And then, like, I think that night is when we went in the car uh -huh. with our friend. <laughs> hey. Okay, what was your first reaction to each other? Ah! Uh, <laughs> ew. Her to me. Her to me. Her reaction to me was ew. No. My reaction to her was wow. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Yeah. No. She kind of learned to love me. She learned to think I'm... No, I always thought he was cute. When I saw him, I literally... I know it's bad, but that semester... It's hard to explain, but I was just so wanting God to bring the right one that I was kind of like, oh my gosh, it's him, it's him. Which is so bad, but like... Not in like a desperate way, but... Um, I saw him and I was like, he's really cute. Like, he's my type everything mm. you know i'm like i want to mm -hmm. get to know him and he seems cool i want to be friends honestly i kind of was like he's a little weird <laughs> he's a little awkward i'm gonna be friends with him to be nice um <laughs> but then i actually started to really like him mm. i'm like a parasite i grow on <laughs> people <laughs> at first i'm annoying pesky but once you let me stick around for a while. You can't live without me. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how did you know each other was the one? Um, so we share si similar callings. Mm -hmm. um, but even before I knew Danae's calling, I knew she was the one I was supposed to end up with just because, you know, the way that she worshiped the Lord, the way that she does worship the Lord, to me that was just something that I wanted. And I, when I saw her dancing before the Lord, I like, I told God, God, I want to marry somebody like her. And I didn't even want to date her at first, honestly. I didn't, I wasn't trying to go for a relationship, but the more time I spent with her, the more confirmation I got from the Lord and I just knew she was the one. And I prayed about it and one day she rejected me. <laughs> uh, before I even asked her out, she rejected me. And go watch her love story. Yeah. Just have the whole story. Yeah. There. <laughs> it's pretty. I think it's funny. It is very funny. But uh, I knew that I really liked him. And I knew he had. Like, after getting to know him, I knew that he had pretty much every single thing on my list of what I. What needed to have. My what my future husband needed to have that I could know at the time. Um. 
so it was looking good and I loved ha hanging out with him he was a super good friend which is the most important thing you know we became like best friends and but I didn't know no for sure <laughs> um, until one night when we had a really long conversation and he told me what God had called him to do and like the visions God had given him and it was the same as me and that was the most important thing to me and I told God like the one that I'm gonna marry I want and like God told me like he was gonna have the same dream as me so that's when I knew I, I know I loved her before we even started dating <laughs> um, so let me just say that <laughs> all right what is your verse as a couple so I don't think we have one <laughs> but that is a really good idea and we should yeah. pray about that and we have a reverses for ourselves Denae's is 2nd Chronicles 20, I think. 20. Um, like, that chapter. That's like my um, life verse in the sense that it, when I read it, it was like, that is what I'm going to do. And I know we have the same calling, so I need to fit, you know, but his is 1st John 4.4. 4. He who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. So I, I personally, I went through a lot of uh, crap and this verse really brings me closer to the Lord and just, you know, it, it reminds me that I'm not alone and that no matter what I face, that God is with me and he's far superior to everything that this world throws at me. Amen. All right. Last question. Mm. What is the one thing you pray together for the most? So, that's an amazing question because a good, solid relationship, the best relationships are built on Jesus. It's very yeah. important to us like, to spend time together with God and to study the Word, to seek Him, to worship together, to pray together, because that is what builds a strong relationship is having your foundation on Jesus, the solid rock, and his love. Um, so with that, I think the thing we most pray for is like, I mean, like together, the, the thing we pray for the most would be like our callings. Yeah. I think. There's three things this we country. pray for the most. Uh, we pray for, you know, our callings. We pray for revival in the United States. We pray for God to support those who are already starting it. Yeah. Uh, we pray for Jesus' outpour of his blood. And we pray for God to grow in us our love for each other, mm -hmm. strengthen our relationship, yeah. and be always present. Yeah. Um, as well as strengthen our relationship with, with him, yeah. with the Lord, primary above everything else. Yeah. Um, that's just something that... Yeah. We pray for every night and I personally can't I don't feel well going to sleep without praying for those yeah. things <laughs> yep. We always even before I met Carlos like I was always praying that Me and my future husband would grow in our love for God and each other every single day You know like so that is That is one of the things we pray for every single night yeah. Because I don't want to be like you know, there's some married couples who are like Oh, you know, as time goes on, and you just kind of get used to each other, and your love can like die out and stuff. And I'm like, no, that's not right. It's you not. Know? Like, I want to be more in love with Carlos. Ninety years. Will I still be alive in ninety? No, I won't be alive. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, if you will, hundred and twenty. <laughs> Didn't I do the math? Okay. You'd be a hundred and ten. Okay, ninety years from now, I want to be more in love with Carlos than I am now, and I know that. Honestly, I do feel more in love with him every single day, so God's yeah. answering our prayers. Good relationship, <laughs> uh, at least to us in our understanding, is a relationship that's surrounded around the premises of worshiping God. Mm. You know, having Jesus in the middle of our relationship has only strengthened our relationship, and if it wasn't for him, I'm pretty sure we would have left each other you know, a bunch of times by now. But he's really been the rock of our relationship, the glue that keeps us together. Amen. 
Amen. Well, that is all of the questions we have. Um, I thought this was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it, getting to know us about our relationship a little bit more. And please, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below or on our Instagram. And if you have any video ideas or any things you guys want to see us bring to our channel, please let us know. Mm -hmm. And it's been real, guys. Yes. And God bless and have a wonderful day. Bye.